right, everybody. So, Dollar Tree Theater will resume next week. I really wanted to check this out. I got this information from a couple different people, most recently over Jim from Now Stark about this Elm Street fan film, which I really don't watch too many fan films, but maybe I should start. But this is about my favorite franchise, so I couldn't just not talk about it. We're talking about Dylan's New Nightmare, the follow-up to the New Nightmare film from the illustrious Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Let me discuss this film because I was blown away. It is a short, and it's only 35 minutes. Written by Wes Craven and Cecil Laird. It gets a 6.8 on the IMDb. We're following basically Dylan 25 years or so after the events of the new Nightmare films. And he's auditioning for a role in a film just like his parents. And he's having a bit of struggles because he's getting all of these flashbacks to the original film and all these things that are happening to him and he starts seeing visions of Freddy and it starts to get kind of crazy and things and I'll leave it at that. Um, but I do want to talk about why you should watch this and support this director and support this film because it was only done with a $30,000 budget and you get to see a lot of great scenes in this. It was very well shot. I will say this, that the, 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 the Freddy Krueger design wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad either. The only problem I had with this little bit of the mouth seemed a little bit too saggy for the character. But it was damn good. Really good design. Um, there was a, a little bit of gore in it, and the gore that you got to see was on point. Miko Hughes reprises his role as Dylan. And... Of course, he was phenomenal. Shout out to Miko Hughes. He's very cool to meet at conventions. And uh, just really, really well done. Uh, 35 minutes. There's even some movie soundtrack uh, mashups in the film from the original movies that you would like on this. This movie is absolutely free on YouTube, but they really should have charged something for it. Uh, I will buy a copy of the movie if it there's like a special edition or something I will purchase it but it is free on YouTube right now I'm not for sure how long it'll be free on YouTube but this is a follow up to the new Nightmare film it is a must watch if you are a fan of the Elm Street franchise if you are a fan of low budget if you are a fan of indie films especially if you're a fan of Miko Hughes or if you're a fan of the new Nightmare this is a must watch follow up um, I want to thank Jim over now at Stark for, for bringing this to my attention. I've had a couple people mention it as well. Um, but he basically brought it to my attention by doing a video about it. <laughs> and you guys know this is my favorite franchise of all time. I just had to see this. So, uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the description for this. Go support this film. We need more. We need more. We need more of this. And, uh, you know, this is how short films should be made. Uh, I see a lot of projects with GoFundMe and all that stuff. And I'm not GoFundMe, but uh, um, a lot of those, you know, support groups and things like that for different films that are being made. I believe they're GoFundMes. They're, they're Go, Indiegogos. Yeah, that's what they're called. And they just don't work out very well. But this one was absolutely phenomenal. And check it out. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I give it a 5.5 out of 5 on the Boglin scale for this Indiegogo film. Actually, I don't even know if it was crowdfunded, to be honest with you. I didn't wasn't able to even find that. But this is 100% worth a watch. And I'll put the link in so you guys can check it out. Have a good day. See you this weekend. Peace. This is Halloween. But a pandemic out now is still a Halloween with a fifth bag on me looking like a chicken tree. 
for the pandemic I was masked up like Halloween With a big bag on me looking like I trick or treat I'm lit like Christmas Eve Rolling up a Christmas tree Say he won't smoke to his head He can not freeze For the pandemic I was masked up like Halloween With a big bag on me looking like I trick or treat I'm lit like Christmas Eve Rolling up a Christmas tree Say he won't smoke to his head He can not freeze Big bag, big money Let the pay talk I'm riding in a foreign